stop. Family shop. Think Thayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Thayer. really pleased with our effort today. Our kids came out with a good intensity uh, that they have displayed the last few days in practice and I really was hoping that would transition into the game today and, and it did. So we wanted to have good execution at, at both ends of the floor. Uh, this is a Ferris State team. They play in one of the toughest divisions or leagues in Division Two, And uh, we know this coach uh, really well, played against her. She's a former Division One coach from Niagara. Uh, I've had some good battles with, with her. Uh, coming into the game, I really knew that she would use uh, some of the tendencies defensively that she did uh, against us when we played against them at Niagara. And she did she did that. So we, we had to be sharp today. I thought we got contributions from everybody uh, on the bench, uh, young and old, and those that were in the game. Uh, we, we executed the way that I had hoped we would uh, against someone who knew what was coming. So uh, again, that's a really good Fair State team. She is going to get things turned around uh, there quickly. I have a lot of respect for her and her staff, and uh, they've got an all-league post player in uh, number 20, Rachel McInerney. And I always butcher her last name, so sorry, Rachel. Uh, but it, we, we had to do some, some things to, to counter her, and I thought we were effective. But uh, first and foremost, we got out of this game healthy, wanted to do that. Uh, we had a good crowd. Um, with a noon tip-off time, we, that's a big change from last year to this year. Uh, so I uh, was pleased that our fans came out early, and now they can support our other athletic teams competing tonight. Let's start with Stern Coach Face. Complaints about today's game. Complain um, I thought we had um, a lot of opportunities that um, in doing some new things um, that we were second late. Uh, we knew what was coming and we uh, forgot to drop or forgot to, to rise defensively on certain kids when we had talked about some tendencies uh, that they had. So, and then we'll always talk about um, our communication at both ends of the floor. I think that can be much stronger than, than what it was. Uh, we've been really trying to emphasize that since day one, and we have kids that have, you know, obviously project vocally differently than, than others, uh, and we've just got to be a, a lot more consistent uh, with communicating what we're in defensively and, and making play calls offensively. Uh, we're going to be playing in front of some really big crowds this year uh, in non-conference as well as conference, as well as the Strove Center, uh, that we need just to be on the same page and communicate. You can't have four on one page and one not on the same page. Comparing that to the list of good, I would think you'd have to be smiling pretty quietly. I thought our, our points off turnovers, we were, uh, our fast break points, th those were strong. Um, I like the fact that we had, um, I believe, seven, one, two, three, seven different kids that hit a three, uh, a couple that had good looks as well. Uh, I don't think we were hesitant to, to take shots. Um, but our balance early on was good. We got a lot of inside touches, and I think that opened up our outside game. Uh, sometimes in the past, this program can become three-point shot happy, and by getting the ball inside early on, I think made some uh, big differences for us on later on in the game with our perimeter players. Am I oversimplifying to say the difference between that second especially the second, the second, third, and fourth quarters to the first. And they looked like good looks in the first, just some of them didn't fall, and you got more shots to fall as it went along. Am I oversimplifying? No, I thought we had good looks and the ball didn't go in. Uh, we executed well, and I'll, I'll clap it up for um, good execution if the ball doesn't go in, and I'll clap it up for the other team if we play good D and they had some good good shots that, that went in as well. So it's a little bit of a tick for tack, as I always say, but I, I was pleased um, with our execution at, at both ends. There were uh, 
only a handful of times where I felt like we were forgetting what we were supposed to be running or the, the particular look we were looking for or someone forgetting to play. Um, uh, we have very few of those incidents that ha happened tonight. But I, we wanted to, to win the, the rebound battle. We did that. Uh, we want to win the fast break point to, as well and, uh, again, get the ball inside early on. And I think um, Abby Seeker and Ashley Tunstall to, to start that game made their, their presence known and which allowed the rest of our, our game, perimeter game, to step up. So early contributions, obviously, from Rachel Myers with five three-pointers early on and then Rion Thompson uh, finishing up with, with five and all those in the second half as well. But I was pleased with our contributions with our, our newcomers and how well they're blending in with our old ones as well, our returners. But there's going to be nerves every every day, uh, every opportunity that, that we play with new ones, new coaches, and how we're going to blend together. The seniors will have similar nerves because it's their last go around. You know, sophomores realize they're no longer freshmen and, and juniors, they're on the downhill slide too and their career is almost done. So uh, I, w I was pleased that the, the nerves weren't a, as big out there as they, they could have been, considering every class, in addition to the coaches that are new as well, that battle those nerves just like a player. So um, at the end of the day, more, more pleased um, than, than anything else. Uh, one, that we came out of the game healthy, uh, but uh, really supportive of our crowd. Uh, you, they made a big difference. They gave our kids a lot, a lot of energy, and they appreciated that. We could talk about a lot of different kids who stepped up. If, if we could talk about one though, please, would you talk a little bit about Carly and St. What ways Carly did a great did job on the glass. She, she's she got a really high motor. Uh, she's getting it done at both ends of the floor. And she, from Cuba to now, I mean, she has just made an impact at both ends every day at, at practice. And she, she's playing really hard. And again, you can be really talented, you can be not talented, but what you bring to the table by how hard you play, it says a lot about you and, and that kid plays hard. And you know, she's got a lot of tools um, that, that she's been blessed with and she uses that, but every, with how hard she plays, she's gonna get other people to, to play hard as well. But she came out of the game and you know, her cheeks are red and just diving on the floor. And you know, she may be a kid that's gonna need some knee pads at the, uh, by the time we hit Richmond, Kentucky against Eastern, but that's uh, that's a kid that will we'll play hard night in, night out. But she gave us a great great spark as, as well as others, but um, she got her hands on a, a lot of balls and disrupted some, some things uh, defensively for Ferris. You know, I do want to ask about one other player, and it's Ashley Tunstall. It looks like she's playing with a lot more confidence than last year. She is, and I mean, this is a kid, let's not forget, I mean, she missed half the season with a knee injury, and it was uh, nagging. I mean, just couldn't couldn't shake that that pain. And uh, she's a hundred percent right now. And that we have her for the conference season, and it's a different outcome in a handful of games, in, in my opinion, because she can rebound. Uh, she plays bigger than her height, uh, and that's a kid who started at a junior college level, and now she's got a different type of. Uh, clock that she's battling with because she's only had two years at the Division One level and she's making the most of it. But uh, another kid just play, plays hard, and uh, I think our fans will, will enjoy this team a lot because uh, the theme that I keep using throughout this conference is playing hard, and they did that. So we got a lot of kids to play hard, and they're buying into what we're selling and it, they're feeding off of each other, and that makes a big difference. And you, you, I really think our fans could tell that today, and, and hopefully you could tell that as well, John. Okay, thank you, Coach.